Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so that is going to be Taurusen, Moon and Rising, a weekly tarot reading April 29th, 9th, oh my God, to uh, May 5th, 2019. And uh, just a second, guys, to shuffle the cards and we can go directly to the uh, spread. Alright, so the first card, which is about the topic of your Taurus this week, that is going to be the death card, followed by the second one, which is the challenges that one needs to overcome here, that is going to be the king of pentacles. Then the third card, it is the positive aspect of the week that awaits you. In other words, that could be intentions, it could be as well things that you can go for throughout the week, that is going to be the, the empress card. And the last one, which is the guidance that tarot gives you for throughout the week that is going to be the nine of wands so once again uh, the death card after that is going to be the king of pentacles followed by the next one which is the empress and the last one that is going to be uh, the uh, nine of wands so uh, to me from the first glance of these uh, cards tourses it does look like that you are going to be one step one foot into a, a different aspect or a different cycle in your life and with the other foot you're going to be in the previous cycle and it's basically this this week is a threshold where you are traversing in an important uh, important phase in your life now the challenge itself is going to be to not to left and uh, to leave anything unattended anything unsorted in your previous um a life cycle just to give you an example of that if you are starting for example in your relationship throughout this week you have to sort out everything with your previous relationship in case you know you're still keeping up a communication with your ex and so on and so forth same thing goes you know if you are for example starting a, a new job the thing here with the death card you know is that one thing goes away that is the topic one thing goes away another takes its place basically what the death card is all about is that life is changing but it is not not take, taken away, excuse me. Therefore, sometimes the death could be rather uh, a bit painful in a sense of that, you know, something that you don't want to give up on. It's basically stop, stop existing or rather like it's um, itself or on its own accord, it's deteriorating. And uh, when we do have the death card or when you do have the death card Tauruses, uh, it will be beneficial, you know, if you don't look um, behind your shoulder and mourning you know for what could have been rather than to focus on what could be moving on forward into the future the accompanied card that is going to be the tree of wands and the formation is passive uh, passive enemies so it does uh, with these cards uh, that week may as well look a little bit insecure uh, in a sense of that you may not feel yourself rather prepared for this change that it's coming throughout the week and you may not feel that you are sitting on a solid enough patterns and that the week itself is going to look or kind of like you are to um, take it as rather quite a big challenge for yourself because most likely you will have to you know abandon a certain positions that you fought for or you will have to as well reconsider uh, exerting certain habits 
on your behalf. These cards as well could represent, you know, withdrawing from a certain medications. They could represent as well withdrawing from smoking, any kind of habit, you know, which is uh, noxious, excuse me, uh, on your life. And it does not contribute for, for your well-being at all. Or, you know, it could be for something rather major, like, for example, relationship where one realizes that um, this relationship cannot go any further than that and it's basically it's already dead, you know, or it could be as well, you know, a, a job that you kind of realize that nothing more can be achieved for throughout the job. So the challenge uh, here itself has manifested itself as a uh, Knights of uh, Pen uh, King of Pentacles, excuse me, it does represent exactly sorting your things through. Um, with whatever have been left as a remnants from your past and moving on to the brighter future. Additionally to that, the uh, King of Pentacles uh, points that you may not, um, how can I place it? <clears throat> you may not be very well aware, you know, what is it, what it is in stake or that you may not be aware that you are giving up a thing in your life and replacing it with a thing much more valuable so you may not be aware that the price you are paying for this transition or for the for this change in your life it's rather very small and much more benefits are awaiting you moving into the future now i don't believe that the king of pentacles does manifest itself as a person but should it manifest itself as a person in your life that is to be someone who does not want you to move on all right that could be for example your husband that you want to have a divorce with all right i don't want they don't want you to move on and therefore they are creating plights and and predicaments for you to move on and if that's the reason here um, then you will have to use your connections communications you know and as well friends you gotta bring them into the matter in order to uh, help you in any way uh, they can the accompanied card here this is going to be the queen of swords <clears throat> the formation it's a uh, passive enemies and well it's difficult to explain with that combo the king of so the queen of swords is very assertive card it's very emancipating card you know it's it's kind of like it's a card where one is ready to do whatever it takes in order to push things through relying on their previous experience therefore uh, here additionally to that the challenge is going to be like i said to let go of realizing you know that that is not the way how you are to push your life through and how you are to achieve a you know better think better things for yourself by staying in the same position but rather the way how you do how you do that is to embrace the manifestation of the death card which is the change itself uh, and as i said assertive uh, uh, emancipating excuse me emancipating means exactly that you know to be in tune with what is changing around for those who doesn't know the word so and as an active neutrals uh, as an act as a passive enemies excuse me these cards are pointing that you are going to find it difficult you know to move on and to be in tune with uh, what is changing around you, but in the same time, you will have to reach to the conclusion here that uh, the best thing you can do right now is just to sort your things out with your previous endeavors uh, or enterprises, you know, and just look forward for the brighter future that awaits you. So uh, that leads us uh, to the third card here, Tauruses, which is uh, the positivity that the week uh, presents to you. We do have the Empress card. So first positive thing throughout this week is that you are to uh, face this, um, these events that are to happen, very meaningful and, and very um, faithful events that are to happen with a great amount of maturity realizing that right now is the moment of one to decide how one should uh, move on with their future and also what you're going to realize is that you do have time all right you don't have to take your decision with a the snap of your fingers you can withdraw for a couple of days as a matter of fact with this card it is very advisable for you to do so in a sense of that you know to withdraw from the midst of activity to detach yourself from the midst of activity in order to uh, kind of like wait every aspect of the situation itself so you can decide in the most wise way because 
with the with the Empress card, whatever you have been sown is going to be reaped, either good or bad. So it's very important at that point, you know, to take the most accountable decision for oneself. And that decision should be uh, focused upon your comfortability. So where you're feeling comfortable at, it is exactly where you have to focus your, uh, your energies toward. The accompanied card that is going to be the... Um, Five of uh, five of wands. The formation is passive neutrals here, and it doesn't look like that the whole thing is gonna be very dynamic. Which means, uh, in the same time, that you are not gonna face any unpleasant surprises through all the way uh, as soon as this uh, opportunity and not opportunity but enterprise of change happens. All right, there won't be any other small minor details which are either distracting you or which are either aggravating you in any way. Additionally to that, it doesn't look like that you are going to care uh, more for what people think about you and for and for what people think about you taking on this new brand, brand new direction, excuse me. And uh, with the five of wands also, you're going to find it very pointless to argue. It's going to be more like a uh, announcing what you decide for yourself rather than arguing why you should decide that thing for yourself or for your relationship, for your marriage or for career. Um, that is just to give you an example of that, let's say that, you know, you are happily married with um, a wife or a husband. It doesn't matter. You do have children. You do have a job. And suddenly a, a better proposition comes around, which could be the manifestation of the death card. And uh, instead of consulting yourself with your wife or with your husband, should you take it or not, it's because you see much brighter future into it and yet you kind of feel a bit uh, insecure about it as well because you are to abandon uh, the certainty of your current job but going for something that looks much brighter, you know, you're just announcing uh, your decision instead of asking for an approval, you know, something like this. So uh, the last card that we do have for you Tauruses that is going to be uh, the the Nine of Wands, which is the guidance that Tarot gives you here. And Nine of Wands, this point that you are going to be extremely patient or patient or the patience, it's uh, what is advised for you to do uh, when uh, according to Tarot. Now, this card itself points that you should take any minor details into preparing yourself to charge forward with this change that it is coming, you know, uh, because other way around you are approaching or kind of like you are charging toward quickly approaching storm. So basically what the card as a guidance says is that you got to take your time. All right. I mean, um, take, make your preparations as meticulous as you can, you know, and, and, <clears throat> and take the time to think about how you are to face this new times which are coming uh, which are coming in your way the accompanied card that is going to be the ace of cups here the formation is a um, active enemies additionally to the nine of wands it does look like that you have a, a lot of freedom as well you know to make a the changes around you rather like this the way how you are to face the change the way you like it all right so you can you can make it as painless as possible in case we're talking about a severance of a relationship, you know, or a job loss here, which is to be, um, how can I place it, which is to be replaced with uh, a new job. And uh, with the Ace of Cups as the um, active, active enemy to the Knight of Wands, you are to realize the seriousness and the heaviness as well of the situation itself, realizing that sometimes, you know, um, unpleasant things need to be done in order one to um, want to step out into the spotlight if I may express myself that way or want to overcome a severe challenge into one's life additionally to that you are going to realize that that could be as well once in a lifetime opportunity and that you may not have a same kind of an opportunity moving on forward into the near future that is because tarot is not for a lifetime and uh, finally, with this uh, combo as a guidance, guys, um, these cards points that, uh, how can I place it, that um, you are to kind of like determine that this was not luck, but it was a, a result of a hard work from your, uh, from your past 
toils that you have exerted either regarding career or either regarding relationship. So that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading Tauruses. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.